doing that. So, you know, we can't be discouraging that it isn't possible. But, you know, the old-fashioned record deal in the industry, that's obviously, that's history. I, mean, I think that's I a good point. point. I was just going to speak on that because John Five made some major awesome points. I mean, these guys are blessed to have a label like Frontiers, you know, um, supporting them and, and um, going back for them. But for the most part, like the major labels, today, there's only four major labels, and, they, and basically, if, if you want to get in the door with them, I mean, they're looking for like 400,000 stacks, $400,000 right up front that you can prove that you're going to put up to have promotion and to have the record promoted, or they don't even want anything to do with you. So it's better going indie. It's better uh, having, uh, 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 you know, unless you are, you know, the caliber of uh, Mickey Free and John, the way you're able to get to a place where, you know, you're able to get to a point where you got people that are supporting you like that. And I'm, I'm happy that, uh, that they're with that type of a company because they really care about their artists. But you don't know, get to, uh, I was just saying, but don't get discouraged, yeah, you know, right, because, right, right, you know, exactly. like back in the day, you know, it was like, if you didn't get signed to a major label, you weren't one of those 10 bands a year with each label that got signed. There was no chance of you happening anymore. Yeah. It's not that way anymore. Like he said, you can do that. Yes. And a lot of, you know, people have the whole social media thing together. Right. We're, we're a little bit older, so yeah, we, yeah. We're, not quite, we're not quite as good at that, yeah. if you know what I mean. But there's some people who really have that down, and you're right, then you could do some numbers because then you eliminate the middleman yes, yes. who was taking 85% of your money anyways. That's right. You know what I mean? Because you know, records were selling for whatever, $14, $15, and the bands were making a dollar. I mean, you know, I think the best thing about it now, let's say that the dream that we lived is really kind of gone. But the new dream is, the old dream, is that the way that we like to do it is the way now. Get out there and play, man. Get out there and play and sell your merch, sell your CDs, and pimp your shit out there on the road. That's real, that's fucking rock and roll right there. You know what I mean, man? I love that one. Because that's how it all started. That's how it 